Hey everyone, so in this video, we're going to be turning Gaviota Fertilizer, which contains ammonium sulfate, into the pure crystalline form of ammonium sulfate. It's a white powder, and we're going to use it to make concentrated ammonia in future videos. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to know about how we're going to separate this ammonium sulfate is we're going to use recrystallization. Typically, in home chemistry, this is used to purify an OTC, or over-the-counter, chemical using its known solubility and the other contaminants' known solubility. Today, I will show you how to perform a recrystallization. As you can see on the screen, in the chart saying solubility in water at the bottom, it says, in theory, 103... 0.8 grams of ammonium sulfate can be dissolved in boiling water, but for me, I had to use 500 milliliters for 200 grams of total fertilizer. The first step I took was filling my 1 liter beaker with 500 milliliters of water. Following that step, I simply put it in the microwave for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. As you can see, the next step is weighing out my fertilizer. Right here is the fertilizer, and you can see there's two parts, green and white. The white is the ammonium sulfate, and the green are the impurities. So for this reason, I weighed out 200 grams, because I only wanted to recrystallize 100 grams of the ammonium sulfate. Next, I simply turned on my stirrer and added the fertilizer. I dissolved the fertilizer until only green beads were left. An intermediate step that I did was decanting the liquid so that I didn't have to deal with all the green beads in my filter. Next, as you would expect, I got out my gravity filter and filtered out what might be binders and dirt and colorants. Once you have filtered the mixture, the next step is to boil down the solution until crystals start to form on the top. In my case, I evaporated 250 milliliters. Then take it off the heat and let it cool down. Next, filter the solution and retrieve your ammonium sulfate crystals. All you have to do now is dry them on a paper plate or in a desiccating chamber and you have your recrystallized chemical. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching my video, and I'll see you in another episode of Back Max Eye.